Hello, and welcome to the first episode of Let's Play Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Tubular. Look at that, man. Lightning bolts in the background making me go seizureish. Anyway, this is this released in 1994 by Bandai America, licensed by Nintendo. I'm pretty sure this is actually an American based game. But I could be wrong. Anyway, this is still a great game for its time. Extremely simple. Kind of straightforward. Walk down the hall, kill a few putties, hide the monster of the day, go home and have a sandwich at the juice bar. And this will be the intro. Ish. By the way, the theme song is, as you expect, repeating the same words over and over again. And. Unfortunately, that's the only dialogue you hear through the entire game. Yeah. And this is just the intro. Jason morphs into action! Transforming to the Red Ranger. Yeah, he was fighting with fists before, but now he has a sword! Yeah, slice, slice, slash. Oh, and if that doesn't top it off, he has a bomb too, apparently. That does not look like a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Anyway, let's get into the meat and greedy of the game, shall we? Yes, let's play Mighty Morphin. And of course, typical Saturday morning, Rita appears and destroys this. That's Rita? She's just like a freaking demon from hell. And I'm pretty sure the monsters on the show would look better. It seems creepy. I was. Man, I'm pretty sure I had nightmares as a kid, crying in the corner and whatnot. Anyway, here's the command center. Yeah, no Zordon, no Alpha, just five people standing in front of giant heads. Put it like themselves. In the blue platform. Anyway, we got the five main cast members. We got Trini, Billy, Jason, Kimberly, and Zach. Each one represented by their own colors. I think these costumes are based on the first episode of Power Rangers, each, especially since he really didn't use overalls that much after like the first season. Anyway, let's begin the first stage, and since the intro of the game says Jason was the leader, I'm gonna go with Zack. Because in the battle cry when they morph mass science first, so I'm gonna go with that for Area 1. Yeah! Hey, I don't remember them turning Green Boy-ish when they teleport. Ish. Ah, ah! Well, that was the putties. They die in one hit. I don't like the show. And they have knives, apparently. Yeah, you also jump. There's two buttons in this game. Three, actually, but that button's kind of useless until you morph. First one is punch. Punch, punch, punch. It can turn to kicks if you're on the ground. And... The other button is jump. You can jump in either direction using the D pad. Pretty cool. Yeah, but I mean, like, he's just die in one hand. Nothing fancy. Look, Hip Hop Keto! Yep. Each one has their own unique fighting style, which you'll find apparent. Hey, look, civilians! Uh, that thought this was just like a regular Power Ranger show. No one but the Rain Rangers and some random mods. Shut up! So I was tricked and fooled by evil Empress Rita. Well, still beat them. Oh come on! That's a offense to store. What did it do? What did it do to you? Jump, 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 jump! Because that's the only way to actually travel. So unrealistic. Yeah, I threw you. Yeah, punch, punch. Come on, come on. Nothing. I'm going. I'm going. Ah! I shanked again. Punch, punch. Ooh, I got through you before you can stab me. Ooh, I threw you again. Look at that. This game actually has pretty, it's pretty cool that you can actually throw and then do damage to both at the same time. Kick, 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 kick. Oh, whoa. That's not nice. You try to stab me in the face. Jump, jump, kick. Jump, jump, kick. Punch. Punch. It's all in the lunch. Something, something. I, I haven't played that game, but I seen it on YouTube. It's cool. I should do that in the next best play, maybe. I'll probably suck at it. 
All oh, right. I mean, with the armor on these trees. Hey, it's you! Time to morph. Master! Okay, so I added that audio bit in post production, assuming. Whatever. I got a power axe! Ooh, look at that. Slice, slice. Hey, what the? Ninjas? I didn't know Rita had ninjas. That's so unfair. You know what? Rita actually used more ninjas. I'm pretty sure she might have won. Maybe. Anyways, when you morph, you can be covered to full health. Unfortunately, I got hit. Oh well. Ooh, what the? Birds! Birdies! And they drop bombs for presents. And, of course, when you morph, you're supposed to get more powerful, but um, these guys still take four bloody hits to kill. Well, I guess the only good thing about it is that... More range, that's pretty much it. Ooh, bounce, bounce, run away, run away, run away, run away! Ooh, that, I got Ooh, get it, stab. Slash. Ooh, do a damn chair at you. What are you gonna say about that, buddies? I mean, seriously, you can just stand in the corner and just keep doing that and probably win. That's kind of cheap, though, for the background. I mean, look at these. This is a freaking billboard. This doesn't have papers and signs and whatnot. Like, gold, try out Ernie's new drink at the juice bar or something. But no. Be lazy, they decided to make it. They were posters, but they threw them out in the end. Look at a Jade statue. Awesome. I'm going, I'm going. Bloody game. Hmm, putty, putty. Uh, there's nothing exciting here! What the hell? Oh, we have a perfectly good truck. Well, let me help with that. Um, uh, I didn't do it. Run! Run before the cops get me. Ooh, a red car. I wonder if it's Jason's. And that's a health pack. And why not? Take it. Don't mind me, I'm just doing something from Street Fighter. And I see Rio destroy plenty of cars and never get in trouble. Why would it make any difference now? I'm a public servant! I blow up cities, buildings, and statues all the time, and no one gives a damn. I mean, seriously, like half the city keeps being blown up every episode, and yet in the next episode, like nothing happened. Ugh, insurance rates must be high in Angel Grove. And welcome to the first boss battle! Against the Skeletoid or something, I don't know. Ooh, look at that, he stabbed me. This boss is actually pretty easy, like any other old platformer games. Bosses have patterns. And once you get that pattern, they fall ends helplessly into it. And die. DIE! DIE! Die, 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 die. Ah, stab. Ah, stab. Ah, he stabbed me in the face. Yeah, I defeated him. Woo! Hey, what? Oh, that's just unfair. Hey, look at that. He seems to be this. Nah, I'm not gonna make that joke. That's way too cheesy. I could. Ah! He threw fires! He falls on fire! Oh, come on. Come on. Come on, your feather cap has nothing on me. Yay! It's a glowing head. Ah! That's a great fireball! Hey, not screw it. I'm going bombs on you. Ooh. And we get the area clear. And we get a four-digit password? Unheard of! I can remember those old NES games that were like fucking freaking 20 or something codes input. Anyway, that'll be the end of the first episode of Let's Play Mighty Morphin Power Rangers for the Super Nintendo. I am Radius and have a good day. Damn it! I'm doing HB HC Bailey. <laughs>